Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to enable the new screen recording option or game recorder in Steam. So first things first, I'll leave a link in the description for this wallpaper because it's going to come up at some stage. So the first thing to do to enable Steam game recording is to obviously open Steam. Once you have Steam open, go to Steam in the top left corner and go to settings. Here, go down to the interface tab and you'll need to make sure you're in the Steam beta. So change this option under the client beta participation and set it to Steam beta update. Once you've done that, you'll have to restart Steam and you'll get the new option. So make sure you do restart. Then you can come back into Steam and then go to view and you'll see this new option here called recordings and screenshots. So that's how you'll know it's updated. So once you have the feature enabled, you can use it by going to Steam settings again and then down to the new option here for game recording so inside here there's three options so obviously turned off record in the background and then record on demand so most people are probably going to use the record in the background option and it has a good selection of customizations here so you can choose the length it will record on a loop for 120 minutes or less or more depending on how you want to configure it We've also got quality settings Max is pretty good if your computer can handle it, but again, it'll use up quite a bit of space. So you might want to adjust your time down and your quality to optimize for disk space. You'll also have an option here to change the storage folder. It will default to pretty much this location. And if you click on this, it will open the location. So that's it right there, which is pretty handy, but you can customize that to whatever you want. Also, you have an enable GPU hardware encoding option. I would suggest leaving that on. It's going to give you the best results. And then here are the two main important features. So you have the shortcut keys. So this will allow you to add a timeline marker. So if you press Control F12 during a recording, it'll leave a little marker on the track. So you know that's something important happened at this point. Again, you can change that hotkey to whatever you like. Then at the bottom of the page, you have your audio recording options. So you can choose to record microphone. That's off by default. And then you've got your other options here. So game only, system audio, selected programs. I'd probably just leave it on game only, but again, you can choose whatever you like. So once you're in a game and you've recorded something, you can't just find the file as a raw file in that folder. You'll need to go to view, recording and screenshots, and this will bring up this screen. So this will show all of the recordings that have been recorded in the background. So this was a little test I'd done here in Ori Will of the Wisps. So you can just click on it, it will open up the player. And here is where I pressed the shortcut key to add a marker. So to clip this down and create something that I want and to save it as an MPEG file, we just click clip. Then adjust the section you wanna save so you can choose the entire thing, which I'll do. And then once you've done that, just click save and share and you'll get this option right here. So this option will pop up and you have a few options. You can copy a clipboard, save to Steam or an export as a video file. So I'm guessing most people are probably going to export as a video file. So if you click that, you can just save it as an MPEG-4 wherever you like on your computer. Pretty straightforward. Otherwise, you have all the other options here you can choose from. And as you see, there are some limitations. So you won't be able to send some of the uh, bigger files as a copied share or to a phone, but you can just shrink those down below a minute and you'll be fine. Anyway, that pretty much covers all of it. Again, the performance is probably going to depend a little bit on the quality of your computer. So don't expect anything crazy if you don't have much of a GPU, but otherwise it will work really well. And again, I'll leave a link to the wallpaper that I'm using here in the description. So check that out if you want to. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on another video. Cheers everyone.